gedstudyguide.org. Everything you need to know about the math portion of the GED. You will have 90 minutes to complete the math portion of the GED. The testing center will give you a dry erase board, a marker, and an eraser to use as scratch paper during the exam. If you need a replacement board or marker, you may ask for one during the exam. You will take the exam on a computer. To pass the math portion of the GED, you will need a minimum score of 150 points. There are approximately 46 questions in the math portion. The first five questions are designed to measure your mental math abilities. You will not be able to access a calculator during these first five questions. You may take up to 12 minutes to answer the first five calculator-free questions. Once you have moved past the calculator-free questions, you may not go back to them. For the rest of the test, you can use the calculator on the computer. The calculator is an online version of the Texas Instruments TI-30X Multi-View Scientific Calculator. To use the calculator during the test, just click on the calculator icon. If you forget how to use your calculator, click on the icon that reads Calculator Reference Sheet. It will show you basic functions. You will also have a formula sheet to use during the test. A copy of these formulas can be found on gedstudyguide.org. Check out gedstudyguide.org for math practice tests, formulas, videos, and lessons. Check us out on Facebook too. And be sure to join our free online subscription for extra tests, study guides, and information about the GED. Click the link below to learn more.